We track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. KMT Storm Team 3 Chief Meteorologist Aaron White joins us again and he's talking about the heat. Yeah, a little toasty this weekend. Uh, we got uh, heat and we got the mugginess, uh, you know, kind of go hand in hand and that's going to lead to even the chance for some storms as we go through your Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday. So kind of a a little bit of a longer stretch here with the heat and humidity. So this is what we're looking at. This is the real feel when you factor in the actual temperature with the dew point to get the you know relative temperature, how it actually feels to your body. That's the heat index and we're going to see it near 90 by Saturday afternoon, but approaching 100 here Sunday and Monday. Actual temperature will be upper 80s to near 90, but because dew points are going to be so high, it's just going to feel a lot hotter here through the weekend. So make sure to stay hydrated and just, you know, spend some time in the AC if you need to really cool off to avoid any of those heat related illnesses as we're tracking just all the heat and humidity. Still seeing uh, some pretty warm temperatures here tonight as we are in the lower 70s and upper 60s across the board. Radar is clear and it's going to stay that way as we go through tonight. Really looking at clear skies across much of the region here tonight. So beautiful weather tonight, even into tomorrow. We're still talking about sunshine here on your Friday, so a great day to get outside, soak in the sun, but also keep in mind, apply that sunscreen because the UV index is quite high here on your Friday, but still it will be a beautiful day. Winds are going to be light about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now, as we go to the weekend, that's when things are going to change up. Again, we got the heat, we got the moisture, we got those high dew points. That's going to lead to the potential for severe weather. This is going to be for Saturday as we're looking at some storms likely moving in late Friday night into Saturday morning across Minnesota, North Iowa into parts of Wisconsin. This is Saturday's threat. As we look ahead to Sunday, we're also tracking potential for severe weather and even going into Monday because of just how all the ingredients are just coming together for potentially multiple rounds of storms that could be severe. So we're watching that severe potential, but of course, as we all know, we've had so much rain, so we're going to have to watch that potential for heavy rainfall that could lead to some more flooding issues as we go through the next several days. But tonight and tomorrow, Looking great. We got sunshine in the forecast. Winds out of the south, 5 to 15 miles per hour. That's just going to bring in all the moisture, so dew points will be on the rise. And here comes that chance for storms here by, sun, by Saturday morning, and we'll get a break. But more storms are in the forecast here for Sunday and Monday. Tonight, though, things are looking clear. 64 degrees for a low. And then for tomorrow, here on your Friday as we wrap up the work week, 84 degrees and mostly sunny skies. And looking ahead to that seven day forecast, where well, the weekend is always in view. We got the chance of storms here Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then after the storms clear out, well, we're looking at cooler weather. 75 sounds pretty good.